Hello, so some of you uh, watched my Train Simulator 2013 uh, preview video and uh, wanted to know how to change the FOV in game. So, without further ado, this is how you change your FOV in Train Simulator 2013, a quick tutorial guide by Gamer Muscle. First of all, make sure you've got your Steam library loaded up and uh, proceed to look at all the games that you've bought in the Steam sales and will never play because you don't have enough time. Then locate Train Simulator 2013 from the list, right click on Train Simulator 2013, click on Properties. Once you've clicked on Properties you'll see that there are many tabs. In fact there are five tabs, I can't count, I can't count above three. Then you go to Set Launch Options and make sure that you've typed this in. Of course the, last, the number at the end is the FOV value and you can set that to whatever you like. I happen to like 110. Now, an explanation of FOVs. 60 will be close to what the human eye sees, but what you have to think of it as is, is if there was like a window in front of you. Um, obviously your computer monitor is a very small window, so when you set it to what a human eye would see, it's like looking out of a very small window that you've then got to look push around all, over, all in front of you to be able to see the environment around you. So I said it's 110, which isn't realistic, and you end up with a lot of distortion. It's like holding a magnifying glass or, or a Fresnel lens in front of your face in real life. But what it does mean is that when you've got using a tiny computer screen or a larger computer screen, you can actually see what's around you. You can see everything in the cabin, and it's uh, far more immersive at a compromise to some aspects of realism. But overall, I find it more realistic. But it's, it's, it's up to you. Um, you might want to try different settings because 110 causes a little bit of camera clipping at the edges of the screen, especially when you're in the in the uh, the cockpit, cabin, um, the conductor seat. I don't know what you call the driver's seat in a train, the conductor's area. Um, so you might want to try something around about 90 or 100, see what, see what you like. So once you've set that value, I was going on on a bit of an epic novel there. Once you've set that value to whatever you like, click OK, click close and that's it you launch the game and away you go it's train time and everyone's happy I hope uh, that video is of use to those of you that wanted to change the FOV have fun driving your trains